All right, we are here, Big Goose Adventures. Signing on, I'm here with Joey, one of my good best friends. Ben, who I sleep next to every single night. And he, <laughs> but it what means is, nothing, Joey, I guess. what is going on? We are here celebrating the red dress uh, party, and if you don't know the history, I can do a whole video about it. Just do a quick one. Give them the, so, the, 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 the tea. The, the, the gist of this like, is basically, we are here remembering our brothers and sisters that we lost to HIV. The sisters. And we started at the Gold Coast Bar. The two bartenders had a pact with one another. In, in LA. The uh, first, Fair, but I don't whoever need died first, the other one would attend the funeral in a red dress. That's the tea. It is a HIV fundraiser awareness. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. 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 Uh, but, uh, but hey, Joe, what should they do before they watch the rest of this video? They should go to no, you should redressrego.com and learn the history of this event. No, you should subscribe. And like and share. And what? Like and share, but also go to the website to learn more. Okay, about in this program. video, what you guys are gonna see is I'm gonna try to videotape as much as possible. Not a lot of talking from me. I will do voiceover later. Absolutely. And then Joey, if you want Joey's socials, I'll put him in. Uh, I'll put it at the bottom because he is. Uh, Links in the description. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Say bye. Bye. Now we're gonna walk over to get money. Hey, Shana Tova. This is my rabbi. By my rabbi is gay. Yeah. And this is his other rabbi lover. Sayonara. <laughs> he gave up Catholic. He gave up Catholicism. Who is a rabbi? Right here. I'm his rabbi. Yeah, yeah, he's a gay rabbi. Uh, Shana Tova. Yeah, happy new year. We got the Halloween costumes up. There's the Sisters of Mercy. Yeah, right here. Potential indulgence. Right here. How are you doing? Well, how are you? Good. Okay, in case you didn't know, it's Sunday Funday. Ben is off for the rest of the day. And uh, it is Red Dress Party. So we're going to show you Sunday Funday Red Dress Party. All right, we are now walking by High Tops. It is definitely your 28, late 20s, early 30s crowd. Not a lot of folks here really uh, red dressing it, as you can see. I don't think the red dress group really advertise it that well this year. And uh, that's how it is. And we're going by the Bayou. They didn't really have anybody dress up as well. You can see nobody really there in a red dress. Not so busy. Ah, oh, stash. Stash is... Ah, gone. Here we are, our people at Z Pizza. They're all dressed up in red dresses. So, people have been out drinking already. And uh, the Wild. Here you are at the Wild. Uh, we really haven't gone to the Wild. It's not a place that we have yet to really experience. Uh, but I support all the nightlife. I want them all to survive. So, uh, we are going to get some money and then head over to the Motherland. That is the Abbey Chapel on Sunday. Not as busy as it used to be. In old days, there'd be a long line to get in. But not today, not anymore. I'm not really sure why. All right, and that's rooster fish, that kind of aqua blue green thing that's gonna be. It's taking them forever. It's taking forever. You shame on West Hollywood leadership. I know all the permits that they have to go through. All right, now we are headed to Mother Load. Red dress party. All right, we are here at the Motherload. We're going to go inside. Motherload really probably was the busiest place with people dressed up in the red dress. In the old days, the bar that was most busy with red dress was a place called the Gold Coast, which is no longer around. It was bought out by these Australian guys who call it the OR Bar, O R Bar. And uh, now I think pretty much Mudlow, there's a bunch of other bars that have it, but um, we pretty much ended up at the Mother Load and uh, stayed here. And I actually ran out of battery. So that's why you're only gonna see the Mother Load today. 
uh, because we ran out of battery. But Motherload is definitely one of those local places, older crowd. Young people do come here and pre-drink and have drinks. Very mixed group. I would say that if you are coming to West Hollywood and you want probably one of the more chill, relax, cheap drinks, people are nice. Mother, you're always going to find a good vibe for sure. Uh, you know, it's definitely a locals hangout. So, um, yeah. And you can see here how many people were participating in the red dress. There's our friend Abbas. He's having a great time. And you can see this place does get busy. And I think that reason Motherload has stayed busy all these years is because it's known for heavy pours, affordable prices, and people truly are friendly. One of the things you'll notice if you're a local here, which all locals are, is that all the locals come here. So this is definitely a local bar. We saw this really cool drag queen dressed up and we did take a picture with her. I uh, still don't know if we're going to use her for the thumbnail, but I guess you'll find out when I finally post this. Did we use her for the thumbnail or not? But she did look fabulous. A lot of work into that. And what a great outfit, huh? So really, really nice person. Not everybody's always nice when you're filming. Some people get really bothered by the aspect of us filming. So um, I'm not sure why, because everybody's on their phones going live all the time. Uh, but yeah. Here we are, and you can see this is what a Sunday can look like. And, you know, just so you know, uh, West Hollywood has entered its low season. So the tourist season sort of over in West Hollywood, and this is what it would look like on a regular Sunday without the heavy summer rush of, you know, out-of-country visitors or out-of-town visitors. West Hollywood does get... A lot of people on the weekends uh, from the suburbs that come, we call them, I call them the weekend warriors, but they live in the valley, live in Orange County, they live in Ventura County, Riverside County, anywhere they can drive, get a hotel room and whatnot. But yeah, we do definitely get a lot of uh, out of town people on the weekends. But in a week, once it gets a weekday, I don't go out the weekday, but uh, we do go out on Sunday here and there, and you'll get this kind of crowd on a Sunday. So, um, yeah, this is Metal Load. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Um, this is what the red dress party will feel like if you ever come to it. Uh, sorry we didn't wear red. I know some of you were, like, asking, where's our red dress? Why are we not wearing red? But uh, we don't have a red dress, so I apologize. I apologize if you ask. I know a lot of you are going, why don't you have a red dress? Well... We do not have a red dress, so, but we enjoyed hanging out with people who had a red dress. So I hope you like this. I think I'm done talking and now, and I'm going to sign off. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. This lady was so cute. And uh, yeah, I didn't have much battery left in my pocket Osmo 3. I forgot to charge it. So this is pretty much going to be near the end of the video. And um, should I say anything else? What should I say? What should I say? I should tell you that West Hollywood still is has a great atmosphere and people generally are nice, at, you know, in WeHo, especially on like where it's more of a locals venue. Okay, maybe I won't end it because I saw, I forgot, there was people who were still dressed up that I wanted to show you. So... Definitely a big event, as my friend Joey said originally, this I believe was a fundraiser for HIV. I'm not really sure how they're raising money these days or how, where the money's going or if any money is even going to HIV. But um, yeah, but definitely uh, was at one time a fundraiser to help people with HIV. All right, I really enjoy watching people take pictures of themselves because in old days people would ask you to take it for you. But nobody wants to let you hold their phone. So we're all doing selfies like that. Kind of cute. And this is it. We're signing off. It's been a while since Ben and I had a Sunday together. His mom just got out of the hospital. And we spent most of the day with her. And we got home and we decided to go out. So that's it. This is the video of the week. Sorry it's a little shaky. Sorry that I ran out of battery. Sorry all you got to see was mud load. I really did intend to have enough juice in my device to 
show you all the different bars on a Sunday with the red dress, but unfortunately, I didn't plan it very well. I came out with a camera that had uh, a very low battery to begin with, so this is what you get to see today. You get to see me at the motherload. I know you, some of you who've been watching the channel for a while are not surprised, but yeah, this is it. This is the, the video of this week. And um, final word is that this is Mark. He's one of three bartenders in all West Hollywood that's been there for, I believe, over 30 years. I'm going to interview Mark for the channel. And there's another guy in the back named Doug I'm going to interview soon. So look forward to that. Ben and I are going to Thailand soon. And Cancun will be filming that. Thanks for watching. And we are signing off.